Well, most of you people won't remember Ann Zacharias, but I'm going to tell you a couple of things I remember about her and uh, the stories that I remember as she told me. Um, one was a joke. It was uh, Hickory Dickory Dock, two mouse ran up a clock, or two mouse, two mice. Hickory Dickory, Hickory Dickory Dock, two mice ran up a clock. The clock struck one, and the other one got away. Okay, now skip to the next one, the story. Uh, there was two tribes. I think this was somewhere in Egypt a long, long time ago. They were the Gulus and the Wulus, and they both had kings, and each king had his servants and his army. And the strange thing was, though, they only had one throne between the two tribes. And quite often they would have a war where the one tribe, the Gulus, would sneak over at night, kill a few of the soldiers and steal the throne while the king was sleeping. And then the, the Gulus would steal it one, one week and then the next week the Wulus would steal it back. And so it was going back and forth, back and forth with these uh, Gulus and Wulus stealing this one throne back and forth. They never thought about making a second throne or being really smart and not having kings in, at all because, I mean, kings are retarded. I mean, the, the whole concept of kings are retarded, but we're not, that's not the story. The story is, one time, the Gulu king decided, well, let's see if we can mess these soldiers, Wulu soldiers up. They're bound to come tomorrow. Let's hide the throne up in the attic. Well, the attic just happened to be made, it was a grass floor, because that was back when they didn't have any special architecture, so it was mud and grass that they made their, their huts out of. Anyway, he had all his guards outside the house, guarding the place, and that night it rained, oddly enough. It usually didn't rain in the desert, but the rain was enough to make the... Um, the grass roof a little bit weak and because the throne was so heavy it crashed through the roof or through the attic onto the king and it killed him it killed the king yeah so the moral of the story is uh, and if you don't remember Ann Zacharias maybe you don't won't be able to see the point of this people in grass houses shouldn't Stow thrones.